The uh, what is test case question is a very common interview question in software testing field. When taking the QA class in a college, uh, you might be just fine by giving the definition provided in that course. But for the purpose of job interview, uh, you might come with a brief discussion showing the multitude of views and concepts. The Institute of Electrical and Electronic Engineers defines test case as a set of test inputs, execution conditions, and expected results developed for a particular objective, such as to exercise a particular program path or to verify compliance with a specific requirement. Uh, Wikipedia provides slightly different definition. Set of conditions or variables under which a tester will determine whether an application or software system meets specifications. The difference between two is verifying compliance with requirements versus meeting specification. In the ideal world, we have perfectly defined requirements. In the real world, we might have literally none. So, in QA, we might deal with either actual requirements or with self-inflicted, self-imposed requirements. No matter how well the formal requirements or specifications are defined, software tester will develop and execute test cases in the course of testing of the software product. To the testers who are developing test cases, it is an instrument of planning for future testing. Many companies are outsourcing execution of test procedures. As a result, we are seeing more and more people for whom test cases are about execution, not planning. This is why the Internet is now full of definitions like test case is a document that describes step-by-step -step process how to test the application. Step-by-step -step process of executing something developed by someone else. You can mention that as one of the existing views, but in Silicon Valley specifically, you should not make it your preferred definition. Practically all the definitions imply that test cases will either fail or pass. And that is how tester verifies the requirement. But there is a very important difference in viewing or not viewing test case as a smallest test with no more than one verification inside. In some companies, one requirement has just one test case assigned, and that single test case will have many verifications inside. Wikipedia expresses different opinion. First, it says, there must be at least one test case for each requirement. Think about how many negative test cases we might have for just one positive test case. And second, Test cases are usually collected in the test suites, not in the other test cases. There is an absolutely amazing definition I found on PC Magazine website. A test case validates one or more system requirements and generates a pass or fail. It's not even one test case for one requirement anymore. It's, it's about one test case validating multiple requirements. Think about it. You come to an interview, they ask you, what is test case? And the person who asks the question might be a proponent of any of the views we discussed so far. The only way not to take the risk of coming with your favorite definition is giving an overview of existing concepts. Make sure you tell the interviewer that even you don't know exactly how that QA team defines the term, but you will be more than happy to adopt their definition. That is how we look at what is test case answer at Portnov Computer School in Mountain View, California, www.portnov.com. Best of luck in your career endeavors.